Look right over here. I thought I saw something, right? Uh, you know, conditions were not perfect, but we made it happen. Uh, I was I was totally happy, you know, to get out there and, and catch some permit. That's a, that's a really pristine prized catch in the Keys, you know, to catch some permit. So, real I'm tight, real tight. You got to get to your crab. You got to get to your crab. Real tight, real tight. You got him. Real, 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 real. Oh, look at the school behind the boat. Look straight back. I'm kind of busy, cat. Put me on him. Right off the motors. Straight back. Simrads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Did I get here in time to help? Oh, yeah. Traffic wasn't as bad today. Good morning. <laughs> Crabbies, we must be going permit fishing. We're gonna try to catch some permit. Up oh. late last night, catching some crabs, were you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We need the net for them. All right. They're all jumpy. You take care of that. I'll st get set up on these goggle eyes. I fed them last night. Yeah, it's springtime, uh, Scott, here in the Keys. You got a lot of wind. You know, we're known for the, the springtime, you get a lot of wind. We knew we were having wind that's going to start to uh, freshen up as the day went on. So we, we scooped a bunch of bait, had some bait just in case we uh, got offshore and did maybe a little sail fishing. They like it when it's windy. Everybody says when it's rough, you know, that's when you want to be sail fishing. So we had the bait uh, to give that a shot if we needed to, but what I really want to do is try to get you in on some of this permit fishing we have down here. Yeah, I didn't mind buying some crabs since there aren't any down here in Key West. You're telling me I got shot catching a permit? I'll do anything. Conditions were not right. Obviously, it was really dirty. We had some really hard winds not too long ago that really kind of stirred it up. So it wasn't the perfect conditions, but. Yeah, I was totally relying on your eyes. Uh, my angle was not good. I knew that you saw them and give me, you know, the direction on the clock at 10, 11, 12. I knew exactly where to kind of position the bait, but I had the bucket up there, so I didn't want to really we miss the opportunity because they can steal the crab so easily. I didn't want to have to run back, so I had the bucket with extras just in case I missed one. Scotty, I figure we take a little look, see if we can't see a permit or two. I got my crabs ready. Got you a jig up there. If take I them. mark them, I'm going to have you drop in them, so just. I'll be ready. Be ready. And you got to feather it out because they'll rob you. I saw a little something under that grass, but I don't know if it was the chubs or what. Some just tailed up into that weed. Yeah, there's all kinds of jacks and stuff in that grass picking, you know? A lot of times when you get around a lot of fish, uh, whether it's ballyhoo, blue runners, uh, horse side jacks, uh, Bermuda chubs, a lot of times when you get around all that congregation of fish, those permit will be mixed in there with them. You know, they kind of like, everybody wants to hang out together, you know? Oh, you come off. Yours come off too? Yeah. Still biting there. If you throw it right towards those guys, get a bait. Which direction? Right there. Right, look where my rod is. Right here. Okay. Yeah. See him there? Got him, Scott. Rubber lips, lipsticks. Did you see their backs? Did you see them flashing? I just saw like a larger specimen. <laughs> no. 
Not a chub. It's crazy how they both popped off the exact same time. Yeah, it was. Different kind of jack here, buddy. Fancy jack. Fancy jack. Fight harder than Bonita's. <laughs> nice, buddy. Nice. Can't believe people capture these things with uh, fly rods. Silverfish. Beautiful. You got him? You need me to come him, down yeah. here and help you. Nice, buddy. That's one. Fat lip. There he is. Oh, yeah. Let's do that again. Good job. <laughs> Ready? Going in. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, baby. Lemonade, baby. Lemonade. Yeah, if it blows, we go. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad, 75 years of innovation in marine electronics. BioEsk Solutions, clean, disinfect, protect. Waypoint TV, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Yamaha, reliability starts here. And by Ameritrail Trailers. Bubba, Golden Boat Lifts. Iowa, Rodan Marine Systems, and by Yeti. What was cool though is you had that that purple water, that edge, that, that was right there. <laughs> so at any moment, it could, you know, uh, dealing with the tides and the wind, that thing could slide in, and then we can have that epic where you can see them every time. You can make the cast, uh, you know, far out. You're not spooking them. So, you know, that was also keeping me there and working really hard is to know that that clean water was right there. In any moment, we could be fishing in that clear water. All right, Scott, I think I got him. Left, 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 left. 11 o'clock, yep. Straight down, solid, bro. Look at him right here. Right here, Scotty. I don't know where you're at, but. I'm in one's mouth. Coming back. Good one, did you jig up real quick? There's a bunch of them coming down, see on that weed line, too. What you got, buddy? I got me a silver platter. Something that eats crabs? <laughs> Sometimes I gotta back up because the rocks are real sharp and they'll, they'll hang you on the edge, you know? Well, I see him flashing, buddy. Double up. He's got one fire on him. Yeah. Oh, your, watch him. Get your jig out. I just lost my hat. Get your jig. There's a whole pack swimming with him. I know. We'll get your hat. You, you better hook up. There was a wad up and following him. I'll let you know if they come back up with him again. You must have hooked the alpha, bro. See that? <laughs> like Kobe. Got back to the rocks. Oh. He's in the rocks. I'm He's on it. Up. Don't let that big fish get away. He's out. Remember, you got a chafe leader now. Yeah, I know. Is this more fun when it's calm or, or what? It's a lot funner. Am I funner. missing anything? It's a lot funner when it's clear and it's calm. <laughs> He's up on top again. Watch. I see him. No get buddies. Get ready for his buddies. All by him, lonesome. Tailing. Tailing. It's just like on the flat, Scott. That's a good one, buddy. 
All right. That one gave me a heck of a battle. He jammed himself right into a coral. All scudded up. Everything's tailing in the spring. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Awesome job. Old black devil. Good job, Scotty. Simple as that. Thank you. Like what you've seen so far? Well, you can see every episode of every season of Into the Blue for free. Go to waypointtv.com, click Ways to Watch to learn how to download the app or watch on your smart TV. Permits, one of their favorite food is the crab. So we had some crabs, which are um, really cool bait, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, you take the claws off so they don't bite you, obviously, and you just kind of drill that hook through because you got to wiggle it back and forth and kind of open that hard shell. Put it in one, one corner of the, of the bait, keeps them alive, um, and, and we went in there looking around. Look right over here. I thought I saw something, right? Is that a bite? Got it. Right as I got to the bottom that time. What we're doing is uh, a lot of times we're looking on the surface when it's dirty. You know, we're just looking for any kind of activity, right? So we'll always go over there and check that out. Yeah, the chumps tend to come up to the surface a little more than the permit and at least gives you a let's go look over there. Yeah, they'll get up in the grass and feed in the grass on little shrimps and stuff. But yeah, so it, it's a neat spot to be. There's a lot of things going on this time of year, and it's something that I, I try to check out at least, you know, three, four times every spring with the kids, with the, you know, uh, friends that like to go fishing, and uh, it's something neat to see. Is uh, it the same area year after year? Not really. I mean, there's a stretch, right? So it's a it's a couple mile stretch of, of, of reef, and uh, you know, sometimes they'll be, uh, you know, way on the east end or the west end. Sometimes they'll be four or five miles to the west. Not really sure what, what's the draw. Is it a, is a draw. Is it coral or is it a sea fan bottom? I, maybe the access to all the current. I think maybe that kind of helps push the, uh, the the eggs around or what have you. Uh, I think get off gonna, the flats, yeah. get, get the stuff moving yeah, so it I can think, grow up, find some grass to yeah, grow get, get that, that spawn to actually you know, disperse out so it probably has a chance to survive. So they pick a spot and it just seems to be um, a common area that they like to go ahead and start it off. But as, as time moves on, you will see them more and more places. They, they will show up in a lot more places. You know, normally we come in here and it's real clear and you can see them. A little prospecting. A little harder today. You got that dirty water. But they're hungry if you find them. <laughs> Just got to go on hunches. Uh-oh. Getting bigger. You got a good one? He likes my Krabby Patty. Some obstacles up here, buddy. Cast from. <laughs> oh, nice one. Good job. Yeah. Look at that. They are built for looking down, aren't they? Look at that. That's what you saw down there. Little flash, little flash. Got a little Key West pink in them. Awesome job, dude. All right, going down. He went that way. Still tailing. Going back to the flats. We're super fortunate to have Ameritrail Trail as one of our top sponsors. Not only does our yellowfin look good on it, but it's built for strength. Strength is the most important part. They're not bolted together. They're welded specifically for each individual boat so it fits like a glove. They're extra low profile for getting on and off the boat, in and out of the water, as, as easy as possible. Everything about the Ameritrail trail trailer system is to make it ease of launching the boat. And that's a big help when you're trying to get on the water to have a great day's fishing. Each Ameritrail trailer is wired knowing that it's gonna be in the harshest of environments from being submerged in salt water to sideways rain on the highways doing 60, 70 miles an hour. But you're not gonna have to worry about its performance because all the lights are waterproof, all the connectors are heat shrink, 
And at the end of the day, that's gonna take care of your trailer so you don't have to worry about it. Ameritrail trailers come with a list of options, brakes being one of them, your choice of disc or drum. Which other choice you make, be assured that when you need to stop, your trailer's gonna stop with you. If we ever to separate the trailer from our truck, the electric assist is gonna pull that boat to a nice stop without having a jackknife situation. That's a great option, it's my favorite. And the only other one after that is the, the belt buddy, and I'm gonna show you that next. I don't usually forget a lot of things on a shoot, but if I do forget something, it's usually gonna be the tie down straps. And that's gonna get us a ticket every time. So now we have the boat buckle. It's a new accessory on Ameritrail's uh, list of many. Uh, this is your strap, all in one consignable package. Your clips right here, you're gonna do this, you're gonna attach it to your boat, make your adjustments, and boom. When you're done, just disassemble it. It's sitting right there. It's not gonna get lost in your pickup truck ever. It's always gonna be on your trailer, ready to go. Ameritrail trailers have been in the business over 30 years. They made it super simple for you to load, launch, and relax. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Scales, every degree of water. Hawks K Resort, find what lures you. West Marine. And by Battleborn Batteries. Costa Pro Series. Nikon. Killer Dog and by Spear1KeyWest.com. Into the Blue is on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Give us a follow or subscribe and check out behind the scenes footage and wonderful photography posted daily. I hooked four and got three of the boat, mama bear, baby bear, daddy bear. Yeah, but you know what else and was really cool? I'm gonna catch an even bigger one. Yeah, and what was really cool too is that you got to see it both ways, right? Mm -hmm. You got to see it dirty, can't see nothing, and then you got to see it clear where you can actually see them because those eddies move in and out, right? It's dirty one minute, yeah. it's clear the next. So the fact that you got to see, because when you take away the sight fishing element, it's really not that, I mean, it's cool, it's a hard puller, but it's, it's not that exciting. Well, nothing fights like a permit. Right, but when you get to actually see the school make the cast, that's watch a pretty the, cool thing. Watch. Far as you can, 11.30. 12 o'clock. Around that barracuda. Nope. You're in them. That's them right there. Big school. Where's the jig? Real I'm tight, real tight. You got to get to your crab. You got to get to your crab. Real tight, real tight. You got him. Real, 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 real. Stop. There you go. Yeah, baby. Lemonade, baby. Lemonade. Got to get, yeah, if it blows, we go. Oh, look at the school behind the boat. Look straight back. I'm, I'm kind, of, kind of busy, Cap. You put me on them. Right off the motors. Straight back. See him? 20 feet off the motors. I can't get him to bite the jig, Scotty. <laughs> Sorry to have time to help you out with the crab. There we go, baby. Seeing yellow. Oh, got him on! Doubled up! Doubled up! <laughs> All right. It's a nice one here. Welcome to the neighborhood. All right, I'm going to let this one go. Let's do it again while they're up on top. Here, why don't you take this thing, buddy? All right. Down a little bit. Got it. One little flash. Take away the whole score. Patience. They're all right here. If you want to see the yellow color, Scott, look right here. Right outside here at, at three o'clock. Right I on see the top. I'm looking, coming I'm looking, up. Look at, yeah. Can you see them? Yeah. Just starting to come up. Look here. Look. Three o'clock, they're right on the surface. All right. This one's been a stinker there, Steve. Drug us all the way out to the edge. I'm gonna let him go now. Yeah, man. Great job. Oh. 
Beautiful. Another beautiful Key West permit. Set them in there real softly. Right in the spring. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Permit. There you go. Look at him go. Woo! Nice job, Stevie. Yeah, man. Thank you for catching that one for me. That's all right. A couple of antennas up here and outriggers and fishing poles. And it's all right. Big waves. I needed your That's assistance. It's all going on. Yeah, man. I got another. I have one more crab left. Well, there's pretty water is pushing in and out. I so. know. I, I have two baits ready for you to say, there he is, bud. I'm going to tie a new jig on. I'll be ready when you get back on him. All right. You know, after we caught a few fish, um, you know, Scott, the water, it was getting rougher and rougher. Uh, you know, conditions were not perfect, but we made it happen. Uh, I was I was totally happy, you know, to get out there and, and catch some permit. That's a, that's a really pristine uh, prized catch in the Keys, you know, to catch some permit. So we're out of there, you know what I mean? It was time to get back. It's a treat for me. I don't get to do that at, ever unless I'm fishing with you. So I appreciate your hard work, and I'm just glad we were able to be on the water catching some permit. I don't know how you found them, but we got them. It was not easy, but you just got to stick with it, man. That's the thing, you know. These things are, the conditions change all, every day. One day it'll be clear, the next day it's dirty. All right. No matter how hard, you know, you think you got it figured out, you never got it figured out. Well, if you feel they're there, you got to give it a try, right? That's it, buddy. <laughs>